General Motors is getting into gear, posting a $2 billion third quarter profit, the last piece of data ahead of its expected initial public offering next week. The company's turnaround has been accelerating, and this year it is expected to post its first full year profit since 2004. Morningstar's David Whiston. You've got a, a much leaner company, a, a different management team. They're going to look at things from a, a different angle than the old GM guard used to. And they've, they've right-sized this company to break even or uh, to start making money when industry sales in the U.S. are between 10.5 and, and 11 million vehicles, which is very, very low. The road to recovery has been a long one. After reporting losses of $88 billion from 2005 to 2009, the auto giant fell into bankruptcy. It emerged from bankruptcy in July of last year with the government still owning a majority stake. That stake will be reduced by the IPO, which is expected to raise as much as $13 billion. Standard & Poor's Robert Schulz. And one of the things we point to that GM needs to continue to work on is the consumer perception in North America. So, um, you know, going into the bankruptcy, the government involvement, um, and, and we do think that there's a still lingering consumer perception about um, old GM, new GM, the government ownership. General Motors is holding its own against other U.S. automakers. Sales topped $34 billion in the third quarter, easily topping sales at crosstown rivals Ford and Chrysler. Bobby Rebell, Reuters.